very, very uh, into what we're doing. I mean, last year was a learning process for him. He did well for us, but now he's really taking control of what he's trying to get done, and he likes it. I mean, it, what I mean by likes it, he likes to, to boast a little bit when we're in meetings and stuff like that and get on guys when they make mistakes, and, and it's all for fun, but also pushing everybody to be really, really good at what they're doing. Brendan, Brendan Gant moved into that room last year and played a good bit near the end of the year. Just what do you think his skill set brings to your room? Well, tremendous skill set. Brendan is a, he's, he's very smart at what he's doing, very knowledgeable at what he's doing. He'll make a mistake here and there, but he knows why he made the mistake and what he's doing. Uh, he's another guy who's added on some weight. He's about 214 right now uh, from 204 when he first started last year. So it's exciting to see him moving around and, and get into it this spring, but we're excited about all those guys, the young guys that – we got coming in with Omar rolling to Marco. Omar's been very merry. Uh, I thought he did a great job the last four or five games of the season. And the reasons for that, because he had to prepare. If somebody got hurt the last four or five games of the season last year, he would have to play in the game. And so he's a, he's a step up here where he needs to be at. Uh, he's more vocal right now, understanding what we're doing. He's making corrections in meetings when we talk. And uh, very excited about him. DeMarco's a young man, just got here, but he's, he's smart. Some of the guys were like, Coach, this guy's picking us up pretty good. I said, well, that's, that's a tribute to what you guys done in the offseason when you was on the road recruiting, which also it makes us feel better. And then getting Stephen Dix back is really good. That guy that's, he's cut some weight down. He's 232. He was up to 240. He's moving around well. He's faster and quicker than what he was then. And he feels good about it. He says his weight is where he wants to be at. He feels good about it. And like I said, it's a tribute to Coach Storm and those guys getting him done in the weight room. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Tatum coming back. How big of a deal was that for you? How big of a surprise? Was it really nervous, anxious at all about him not coming back? Uh, no, I wasn't nervous about it. You know, like guys make decisions on what they want to do and where they want to go at it. It was tremendous for us to have all those guys to be, be in that room. You know, Tatum, the Loach, Lundy, get those guys coming back and you know, excited about the competition that we have on the room, but also those guys are, are pushing each other to be the best. And that's the one thing that they're doing right now in this offseason. They're challenging, challenging each other to be really hard on each other by doing all the small things. What can Kalen be for you guys this year? Do you think? Uh, being himself, but he had to get better. He's got to get totally better than what he was last year for us to take that next step. And then he knows it. We've been pushing on him. Uh, we've done some off the field study stuff and showing him where he has to improve for us to get better. You can't stay the same. You can't make these same mistakes when it's crunch time uh, towards the end of the game or in situations. What is that? I don't say, is that just not having the amount of reps? Is it just a stressful uh, football game? No, game? not stressful football game. You know, some guys take chances at certain times. You can't take chances. You got to trust that everybody's going to be there. And uh, he made a lot of plays for us last year. Made a lot of them. A tremendous job of moving from where he was the year before to now. But we got to keep moving forward with that. And uh, he knows it, and he knows where he needs to take his game to. I mean, DJ, the way he's transformed his body, looks like he's taking this thing really seriously. I mean, uh, I know football is more than just being muscular. What do what you thought about DJ's offseason and how he fits into your guys? Play? Tremendous job. He, uh, he's cut some weight down. Uh, his uh, body fat has went down. He feels good. He feels like he can run a longer. He said this is where he wants to be at. I mean, he's played anywhere between 240, 245. And we've cut him some weight down last year. Now we're cutting some more weight off him this year. He's 232 to 234. He runs around, he has fun, he doesn't get tired like he used to be. And uh, his smartness and the way he can play the game can really make us a better football team. Because now it gives us a chance to have a lot of guys that can do a lot of different things. And if injuries happen, you got a chance to develop other guys. I know it's not the same for everybody, but a guy like DJ loses eight pounds. Like, does that translate speed-wise? Do you notice it with your eyes? Is it the GPS that tells you? Or? The GPS that tells that speed-wise is if he, he's a lot more quicker than explosive. He's always been an explosive young man. Now he's a lot more quicker reacting because of the weight, but also it's best for his body. You know, you carry too much weight at one point in time, it becomes knees, it becomes groin pulls, command small muscle tissues. That kind of trends in that effect if you're not being careful about how you're managing your body. How did you guys feel about this defense on the whole last year? I mean, statistically, you guys were top 20, it feels like, in every major category. How, how do you assess the way you guys played last year and where you need to go? We play good, but we can get better. We really, really play good, but we're competitive coaches. We're competitive defense. The staff, tremendous defensive staff. Everybody wants to get better. They want to improve. And we'll never ever be satisfied with what we're trying to get done. And I think that's the one thing that we've been hyping on this offseason is how we can get better, what can we get better on. And we, we really, really pounding it down to the guys, but also putting pressure on ourselves to make sure we stay on top of those things. We're not going to sneak up on anybody this year. I don't know if you snuck up on anybody last year, but there's there's real, I mean, it's Florida State, but I mean, there's 
legitimate expectations for something larger than what you guys have done here in a few years? What's that been like processing? It ain't, it, no, no expectations what we expect from ourselves. I mean, the outside can't put pressure on it. The media can't put pressure on it. The fans can't. Uh, with this staff and, and, and the way we train, the way we, we work our guys and the way we're our coaching staff, we put pressure on ourselves. You can't get any more pressure than what we do in practice, what we do in the weight room, and what we do as a staff on each other to get any better. And then lastly, Patrick Sertan. Uh, you guys crossed paths back in the day in your youth, I guess you could say. Uh, what have you thought about his development as, as not only so a, a man growing up but becoming a coach and then out here with you folks? I've been knowing Coach Sertan a long time and I watched him, you know, I was with the Dolphins with him, but also when he started coaching high school as an assistant coach, he moved to the defensive corner, then he moved to the head coach. And Pat has always been a tremendous coach. And like people understand, he's a great people's person. Got a great attitude, uh, loves to work with young men. He wants to develop young men on and off the field. But also he knows what he needs to get done, and he knows how to coach it and teach it. So we're excited to have him on the staff, and uh, we're ready to go. If people think that Patrick Rutan is here to be a recruiter, are they sleeping on his ability as a tactician? Yes, they are. Very, very. He's not here to be a recruiter. He's here to be a ball coach and make us better as a defense.